here for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Today's video, we are going to be talking about two more reef nutrition products that have been talked about quite a bit this year. At least to me, when I've been at the trade shows, these guys, I've heard a lot of buzz, a lot of people talking about them and telling me stories how much they enjoyed it. Now, this isn't the only reef nutrition products that I've talked about. If you're interested in some of the other ones, make sure to check out some of my previous videos where I've gone over a couple of the other reef nutrition products that I use and love. But today we are going to be focusing on ROE and pack pods. Let's go with ROE first. So ROE stands for real oceanic eggs. Now, what kind of eggs? The eggs that Reef Nutrition is using in here are Atlantic Cod and Saith. And those eggs are flash frozen and then shipped to Reef Nutrition, who packages them up and sends them out to you. Now, just like with all of the reef nutrition products that are out there, they actually have a fun little chart that tells you what size particles this food is. Why is that important? Well, when you're going to pick out food for your fish, you wanna make sure that it is something that can fit in the fish's mouth. And the same goes for corals, but important for fish as well. So the particle size on the ROE is between 700 and 1500 microns in size. As you can see, this is going to be big enough for your larger fish to see and small enough that your small fish can eat without any problems. Now, what are the benefits of feeding it? Well, the ROE is very high in omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids, making it beneficial for your fish's health. Now, as you can see, I got the large bottle because so many of you talked to me at the trade shows and told me what great feeding response that you had using the ROE, that even your pickiest of fish were coming out to feed when you put it in the tank, so you know I had to give it a go. And I gotta say, I've been pretty impressed. So even though this only has a nine month shelf life, I'm not really concerned. I'm fairly certain I'll be able to use that before it goes bad. Okay, so next up, how do we feed? Well, one good thing about all of the Reef Nutrition products is that if you take the bottle of the product and you rotate it to the side, there's feeding instructions on here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and read you the bottle, let you know how to do it. First directions, invert the bottle to mix. Easy peasy. You do wanna keep this refrigerated and it lets you know in bright yellow on here. Now you've got two different instructions. You've got one for fish and one for coral. So for the fish, you're gonna to wanna to feed as much as they can consume in two minutes. That's pretty standard across the board as far as feeding fish goes, but corals, this is what you're gonna to wanna to do. Add one to two teaspoons per 100 gallons of tank water per day. You wanna add that into an area of high flow or if you're target feeding, you can pre-mix four parts tank water to one part of the ROE. Something else they do mention on here is that um, different tanks consume nutrients at different rates. So you might wanna start out on a more conservative end and then slowly build your way up. And that's something that I would say for any product that's out on the market. Don't go crazy at first. Um, you don't wanna overdo it, especially with some of the liquid concentrate foods like the ones Reef Nutrition makes. All right, we've discussed ROE. If I haven't convinced you by what I've said, hopefully this video of my fish and corals chowing down will further convince you and make you wanna give it a go. Okay, next up, we are going to talk about pack pods. Pack Pods is one of the newest products, well, is I think the newest product in the Reef Nutrition line. It's been out for a couple of years, but it's still the most recent to come out. So what are Pack Pods? Well, Pack Pods are North Pacific copepods. Now, if you're worried about the health of your fish tank, don't fear because these guys are sterilized with gamma rays for maximum biosecurity. That's one of the things actually that impresses me about reef nutrition. Something I learned when uh, Chad came to talk to my local reefing group a couple years back is how seriously they take biosecurity at reef nutrition. So if you're interested in that, um, send them a message, definitely check things out. But know that your fish are getting healthy food. You're not gonna be bringing anything into your system. 
Now with the ROE, we talked about the different size of the food and there is a particle size for pack pods. It's between 500 and 800 microns in size. In the past, we've talked about the apex pods and the tigger pods, and the pack pods sit somewhere right between the two of those. It's a little bit bigger than the apex pods, not quite as big as the tigger pods, but it's perfect sized for just about everybody in your tank. So who are you gonna be feeding with the pack pods? Well, you can feed your fish. This is great for some of the smaller fish, say if you have chromis or anthias, they'll love this. I used to have my cowfish would go after and eat these. So even the bigger fish can eat them as well. But it's also gonna be good for things like pipefish and seahorses. They're gonna really benefit from having this. Now again, if you've got the non-photosynthetic corals, if you've got your um, large polyp or your small polyp corals, even soft corals are going to enjoy this food. I would even go as far as to say you could probably feed this to jellyfish and it would be really fun to watch just because it's bright red. It'd be fun. You could probably really see that in their stomachs as they're digesting it. Now, I mentioned the bright red color probably gives you an indication about some of the nutritional benefits of it. Uh, so they do have carotenoids in it. That's what creates that bright color, but it also is packed full of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. Now, something else that's in it that you don't see that often on nutritional labels are waxy esters. Now, these are important lipid components that are responsible for um, a fish's buoyancy and things like energy metabolism. So it's really good to have in there. Now, one thing I didn't mention with these guys is that it does need to be refrigerated and you've got a four month shelf life on it. So plenty of time for you to feed it out to all of your fish and coral. So how do you feed it out to your fish and coral? Well, let's check out the bottle. Okay, directions, invert bottle to mix. Pretty easy, right? Next up, if you are feeding fish, again, you're gonna to wanna to feed as much as they can consume in two minutes. Now, if you're feeding corals, again, you're gonna add one to two teaspoons per 100 gallon of tank water. You're gonna put that in a high flow area and let it be dispersed in the tank. But if you are target feeding, you could still use that same ratio of um, four parts tank water to one part pack pods and then put that in there. All right, before I go, I would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below. Let us know if you have ever tried the ROE or the pack pods and what your favorite reef nutrition products are. All right, this has been Hillary for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.